You're right, guys. Clinicality here, back today with another FIFA 16 Ultimate Team player review. This time, we are reviewing the inform Stefan Sessignon from West Brom. And on screen now, you can see the team that we built him in. It was a Premier League La Liga hybrid, and it was superb. I absolutely loved this team. It worked so well. Now, the player instructions that I went with was I left them standard at first, and what I found is because he is the full centre mid and we're playing him as a cam, he seemed to come back a little bit too often, and so I did tell him to stay forward and it worked really well. So if you play him at centre mid, I would recommend you leave the instructions standard. But if, like me, you're going to play him at cam, then definitely keep that stay forward on him because obviously it will keep him higher up the pitch, and therefore he will be involved in attacks a lot more often. As always, we played six games with him and we managed to score eight goals and get six assists from Cam. What a return that is. Absolutely brilliant return. More than an average of two goals or assists every game. Absolutely incredible. And he only cost us 22,000 coins. For a return like that, that is an absolute steal. 22k, that is just ridiculously cheap. Now in terms of his base stats, he has 79 pace, 84 dribbling, 80 shooting, 51 defending, 78 passing, and 76 physical. Jumping into the in-game stats now, and as you can see, he has so many greens. 86 agility and 92 balance, massive standout stats, and 74 strength on a cam, that isn't bad either. Skill attributes, he's also got some really good ones. 85 dribbling, that is massive on a cam, and 83 shot power to go with those 76 long shots. That could prove to be a really vital part of his card. He's 5 foot 6. He plays cam, right mid or left mid, right footed, medium low work rates, 3 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. And he has the acrobat speciality and the flare trait. And as I jump into the clips, I want to start off talking about that flare trait because it's not usually a thing that matters all too much on players. Most of the time you use it just to show off a little bit. But on Sessignon, it comes in really handy. I don't know what it was about him, but I seem to do so many fancy passes and back heels with him, and it just felt really nice on him. The flare trait definitely came into play on his card. And obviously, to go with it, he has four-star skill moves, meaning you can pull off some really fancy tricks, and it does really make for some lovely-looking goals. Now, his dribbling as a whole is superb. He felt really agile on the ball. His balance, 92 balance he has, felt so good combine that with his 74 strength and no one could really get the ball off him i mean he's only five foot six but players were just bouncing off of him his low center of gravity and that balance just coming into play so well and he just did not get shrugged off the ball another great thing about him is his persistence when he did eventually lose the ball after having about five players on him he just won it straight back he didn't give up he kept pressing the back line and for that reason, I think this guy could easily play further back down the pitch because that persistence would definitely help him out in a defensive situation. Now his pace is very average, nothing special but also not too bad. However, one thing that is definitely not average on this guy's card is his shooting. In particular, his finesse shots. This guy has some incredible finesse shots. I would say he is easily up there with the best finesse shots on the game. Now on previous FIFAs, finesse shots used to be so overpowered, however this year, I don't think they've been as good, and I personally prefer drilled shots. But there is something about this guy's card that just makes his finesse shots so overpowered. And not just the ones up close, he knows how to finish from range. His long shots are really nice to use, they don't always have the most ridiculous power on them, but they have precision accuracy, and the curve that he gets on his finesse shots is absolutely crazy. Now obviously being a cam, the last thing to mention is his passing. His short passing is really nice, however his long passing was a little bit wayward and he did overhit quite a few of them. And so his long passing was one of the only real downfalls I could find, apart from the fact that he has freestyle weak foot, because his left foot wasn't all that great. However most of the time he is able to get onto his favoured foot, and he can really produce some special things with it as well. Now, over the six games that we played, he picked up an average match rate in of 8.9, which is really, really nice to see. He scored at least a goal in every single game. The consistency on this guy was unbelievable. Now, obviously, under pros, you can see a really long list because he had so many things that were good about him. At the top of that list, though, are his finesse shots. As I said, one of the best I've used this year. Absolutely incredible. Long shots, again, particularly the finesse long shots. 
really nice to use. Four star skill moves, always great to have on any attacking player. His dribbling felt slick. It was so, so easy to dribble with this guy. Balance. The reason I put that on there was because that was the main standout for his dribbling. And as I said, combine that with his strength. And he makes for a real menace going forwards. And lastly, I've put his persistence because as I said, this guy does not give up. When he loses the ball, he is constantly chasing it, pressing the defenders, trying to win that ball back. Now under cons, I've got three star weak foot. His left foot certainly wasn't the best. However, it's not bad enough to ruin his card and his long passing as well. His long passing was very inconsistent. But again, most of the time, especially in this formation, which I highly recommend you guys try out with him, you don't really need to play long passes all that often. You can play little one twos between him and the two strikers. And in those sort of situations, he is absolutely brilliant. For me, I loved using his card. And for that reason, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Not only is he able to score you lots of goals and get you lots of assists, but he scores some great goals. The flair on this guy is so fun to use and obviously the 4 star skill moves is always nice to have. And overall it just makes for such a fun attacking midfielder. I highly recommend you guys go and try him out. He is so cheap. I mean at the time I'm making this video he has dropped to around the 12-15k mark. If you have a Premier League team, pick him up and I think that some of you guys would be thoroughly surprised with how good this guy is. As always, if you guys do decide to go and pick him up, let me know down in the comment section how he played for you. It's always nice to see that. Other than that though, if you did enjoy this video or found it helpful, a like would be much appreciated. And don't forget to click that subscribe button if you want to see more. I have brand new FIFA content every single week, so stay tuned on my channel if you want to see more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.